Hi there, it's Ira and Mike, the Diamond Pros. Today we are going to explain carrot size and why it matters. Well, it's obvious that carrot weight matters. Most people want the biggest diamond they can afford. But we're going to cut through the technical mumbo jumbo and help you figure out just what to look for. Let's get the technical stuff out of the way first. You may have heard the word carrot and wondered what it meant. A carrot is a measurement of weight. Well, why don't we use a more common weight so people will understand it, you may ask. Simple answer. A carrot is an incredibly small measurement in weight. One carrot rolls off the tongue a heck of a lot better than 0.2 grams. Diamond prices are calculated by weight. The diamond industry calculates prices by ranges. For example, there is a price per carat for all color and clarity combinations in the 1.00 to 1.49 carat range. So let's say the price for HVS2s is $6,000. A 1.00 carat diamond would be $6,000, while a 1.03 carat diamond will cost $6,180. Keep in mind that your eyes don't really see weight. Your eyes see mass. Usually, someone is looking at a diamond from the top. There is virtually no discernible difference between a 1.00 carat diamond and a 1.03 carat diamond. So when purchasing a diamond, what you need to figure out is what size range you can afford, factoring in your budget and what color and clarity you want. But after that, don't focus too much on the size. Wait a minute. If the price goes up for every size range and there is no difference between diamonds that are within a couple percent difference in weight, then maybe I should try to get a 0.98 carat diamond instead of a 1.00 carat diamond. That should save me a bunch of money, right? Well, it's a good idea in theory, but unfortunately it doesn't work for two reasons. First off, the diamond industry doesn't have the habit of just throwing money away, and they have become exceedingly efficient when it comes to cutting diamonds. A diamond cutter would much prefer a slightly worse cut diamond that weighs 1.00 carats than to have a perfect diamond that weighs 0.98 carats. It is incredibly rare to find a beautiful diamond in that, in that size range. The other issue, though, I shouldn't really call it an issue, is that consumers have become more intelligent in their searches. There are tons of consumers out there who have learned enough about the topic to know that a well-cut 0.98 carat diamond is a great find. So high demand and severely limited supply means those diamonds will actually increase in price. By that time, you won't end up saving anything at all. So stay in your lane. Figure out which weight range is right for you. Make sure to nail down the specifics on quality and find the best diamond for your money. If you have any other questions or would like some help picking out the perfect diamond ring, feel free to contact us. One of our diamond consultants will be happy to help you find the perfect engagement ring. Once again, this is Ira and Mike, the Diamond Pros. Thanks for watching.